Sylvie, what a sweater you got there. I know. Got some snowmen. Very nice. Got a bell. Very nice. What do you got? I've got Santa, obviously, on a dinosaur. But I also have bells. Oh, this is a very solid sweater. This is a good call you had here. Just like, let's get into the season. Tis a, the season of like, ugly. Let's get your ugly Christmas sweater. I was like, I don't have any of those. So I got I to gotta consume. I got to help the economy. I had to buy this too. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Talking Too Loud. I am your host, Chris Savage. I am joined by the very special Sylvie Lubau. Sylvie. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays. Here Happy we holidays. Are. Another holiday episode. Jingle bells. <laughs> oh this God. has become such a fun tradition. We do this every year now. It is a fun tradition. Yes. We're going on three. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. If you're new to the show, you may not know this, but if you've been with us, um, during the holiday episode, one of the things that we like to do is release our very own gift guides. Yes. Now, I have been told the viewership, the listenership of, of Talking Too Loud, it's growing. Uh, but I've heard that we have an outsized impact on holiday gifts for some reason. <laughs> so uh, we've put a lot of time and effort into these gifts. We're really excited to share them with you. Um, and hopefully we help tick a few things off your list just uh, that much easier. Yeah. We're trying to help you. We're trying to help you. But will you get these things before you're supposed to give them away? We don't know. We don't uh, know. I can't guarantee any of that. It might come on time and it might not. But these, you know what? This is a moment to treat yourself. To find something that brings you joy. And these are a few of the things that, that bring us joy. You want to start? Should I start? We're going to go one for you one. You should start. You, you, do you want to do one? I'll do one. You do one. I do one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I did something a little different this year in that I really tried to think about categories. Okay. Okay. Didn't do that. So we'll just go down the list. These are in no particular <laughs> order, but they are in particular categories. First category up, we got gadgets. Okay, gadgets. And this <laughs> okay. year's holiday <laughs> gift gadget is <laughs> Nespresso's Virtuo Pop Plus coffee machine. And wow. here's the deal with this. Okay. So I first discovered it um, in my hotel room in Montreal. Okay. Usually you stay <laughs> okay. in a hotel room, you get the little like the coffee. The Keurig. Well, yeah. or you get like a shitty, excuse me, not excuse me. You get a bad. Oh, hey. <laughs> excuse me, not excuse me. You get, you get Jeez. like. This is supposed to be a holiday <laughs> episode. You get, <laughs> you get not great hotel coffee. Let's be honest. But this, this Nespresso was there. It was small and unassuming, but oh so mighty. And took it for a spin. They're like Keurigs, like they have the pods. Yeah, I know. I have an espresso machine. I love an espresso, but okay. did you say it's a Virtuo? Virtuo? Virtuo Pop Plus. I don't have that. I have uh, the smaller pods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've had it for like a decade, and I swear by it. Yeah. For my auxiliary caffeine. There you go. So you get it. Uh, oh, I get it. They're eco-conscious. For my eco-conscious friends out there, Nespresso uses recycled aluminum for their pods. Uh, they're on sale. You can sale. ship back the, the pods that are used and they recycle them. They're on sale right now. So, you know, ha have a cup of Joe, have a cup of espresso. So do you have one of these now? That's the question. Did you get yourself one? No, not yet. Oh, so this is like a call out to the world. Hint, hint. Super fans. Okay. If you want to send me well, something. It, that, I mean, so you're saying this really left an impression because like, oh, it left, I have. It left a big impression. And I'll yeah. tell you what else. In the winter specifically, it gets darker earlier. It, it does get darker. That is a fact. And at 3 mm -hmm. p.m., 4 p.m., more so in the winter, I'm like, God, I really need something. And I feel like Nespresso is the thing. Yeah, it's funny. It's very interesting you put this on the list having only experienced it at this hotel because I've had uh, just the older school Nespresso machine for a long time. And it really makes good espresso. It's, it's very shocking how good it is. People, most people can't really believe it. I have trouble believing it. <laughs> and you know, I have friends who have like the whole thing and they're yeah. whisking the crap and they're doing, and it's like, it's good, but is it, is it better than this? No, I don't know. No. And so it, if you start factoring convenience in espresso, oh my God. So I, I love that as a, as a gift guide there as a gift. 
as a gift. In the guide. In the guide. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to be shocked by the first gift that I have here, I think. Oh, God. Which is, you know, I've really turned over a new leaf this year. And I've been reading physical books again because I am so retro. You are. And I basically give myself permission. Anytime someone recommends a book, I buy it. I buy the physical copy of it. I just put it around my house. It's been great. Um, and so the book, I'm going to recommend a book, which is Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari, which I've heard about for years. Yeah. Um, it's on a lot of like, I'm going to say tech bro, like lists of books to read. But honestly, this book like blew me away. It was so riveting. It's like the history of humanity and how we get there. But there's like the basics of chemistry and physics at the beginning and like how uh, Homo sapiens lived at the same times as other types of humans, which we try to forget occurred. Mm. Um, and like what was different about Homo sapiens and other types of humans and the evidence today suggests that it was basically that we could believe in things that aren't true. Hmm. And so from a societal standpoint, like we believe in stories and fiction. And so, cause everything is fiction. Like we make up our system, we made up our systems of government and trading and bartering and all this stuff. And one of the ways you can see it is, you, is um, like, I guess, looking at fossils from that time period, they can tell that homo sapiens were trading different types of shells and stuff like around the world. They were like bartering, but in other humans, like homo erectus, what have you, there's no evidence of this. And so if you can't barter and trade, yeah. then like you can't, you can't grow. And so it's just very, gets into capitalism, gets into all, gets into religion very deeply. Give me a page count. Uh, oh God. Uh, is it right there? No. Uh, 300-ish, something like that. Oh. 300, 400. So it's, and, it's approachable. And the honest truth is, it's approachable. First half, you read this thing so <laughs> fast. Third quarter, slow. Okay. I'll admit it. It's yeah. slow. I was, could not put this book down. Halfway through, I put it down. Okay. And then I was like, I really love that book. I need to finish it. You got to finish. Last quarter, great. So okay. um, that's my assessment. That's but I good. think it's a great gift. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. If you haven't read it, you should definitely check it out. Okay. I like it. Okay. We're on, next. We're on to the next one. Okay. This category, yeah. health and fitness. You're going to like it or you're going to hate it. I don't know. Fantastic. So it's called... <laughs> It's called box balling. I don't know if you've seen this. It's very oh, this. trendy yes. on TikTok. And full disclosure, full disclosure, I haven't product tested this yet. But the demo You're videos, so excited about it. the demo videos look so fun that I don't care, and I'm recommending it because they look so fun. So basically, you you get this headband that has like a yeah. string with a a yeah. tiny punching ball attached to it. <laughs> and and you you get an app and there's all kinds of games you can play. So some people are like doing the consecutive punching. Some people are like doing the like bob and weave, trying to duck the ball. I got to get this. Thing. You have to get, get this, this thing. thing. And um, I'm going to order it right now. OK, OK. It improves hand eye coordination, reflexes, concentration. Who doesn't love that? I ordered one for my dad. I thought he'd get a kick out of it and one for my boyfriend. And did you get one for yourself? I will be using both of theirs. That's great. Well, now you've convinced me, so I've ordered it. <laughs> I hope I sent this I sent this to the right address. Okay, that was exciting. <laughs> wow. Real time. Real time purchase. The real time. So my next uh, gift is really for anyone who's trying to up their video game. Mm. Um, and now when I say anyone, I mean anyone using a Mac. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> You're like... Hello. I don't know if you know, there's there's a this new thing that's built in. If you have the most recent Mac OS and you have the most recent iOS, you can use your iPhone as your camera, as your webcam. Okay. And sometimes you're going to select it when you're recording. It'll be like, oh, Chris Savage's iPhone. And yes, I get that message. The, the camera on your phone is incredible. But how do you use it as a webcam? Where are you going to put it? Well, mm. you can get this incredible, simple little mount from Belkin. And you take it and the phone yeah. will magnetically attach. And then it has a little clip and it's designed to go on the back of your monitor. And so if you put this thing up on a monitor, like I put up on my monitor right here, it's going to sit there. It's going to be about the same place where the webcam is, but you're going to look absolutely incredible. Oh my um, God. I want yes. it too. You got to get it. I have one that I just keep in my backpack basically. 
So if I'm ever traveling and I need to do something that looks like higher res, yes. I can just do it easily. I'm going to have my phone. There you go. Yes. So this is this is a good one. Um, and I think it's about 30 bucks. Oh, my God. It's either $30 or it's 300 <laughs> uh, you know. Just uh, a <laughs> small range there. 30 to 300 uh, No, I think it's... It is twenty three dollars. Let's so. go. Let's yeah. go. I love that because so so many people record on the go, you know, but they want to look good. They want to look. It's good. just and it's crazy because all the stuff that the Mac has done, you can you know do portrait mode. You can do the um, oh god, what do they call it? There's a mode where you it detects where you are in the frame. Mm -hmm. So even if it's not framed perfectly, it'll punch in to you so it looks like your frame better and the the, the lenses are so high res it looks really great bonus is <laughs> if you also have an apple tv mm -hmm. you now can facetime on your apple tv and it uses your phone as a camera and if you have this mount I, like what i've done is i just put this directly under the tv put my camera up there facetime with somebody and then you could do share play all these types of things it's really delightful you're living that apple life and now you can too so if you're all apple household you get yourself <laughs> one of these get yourself two of these mounts you know yeah treat yourself treat yourself yeah. okay well this is in tech and very apple relevant and it's selfish this because, is the tech category yeah this is something i i recently bought for myself and i love it and it's the ipad 10th generation with a magic wow. folio keyboard so it's not the latest okay it's not you don't have to break <laughs> the bank we're not going for the latest model but we're going That's for funny. sleek design we're going for pretty powerful like ni nice gigabytes there nice ram and what's uh, the chip in that thing that's a good question is it a bi A4 Bionic chip or something? What have we got in there? <laughs> Let me look. Of course you're going to ask about the chip, and of course I didn't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The chip doesn't matter. The chip doesn't matter. I mean, so for tell some me, people, it tell me, matter. what are you, tell me, so you've gotten an iPad, you love it. What yeah. do you, what do you use it for? What's, so what's I, the most? I, I wanted it for when I travel, kind of similar to what you're talking about okay. before. I have a MacBook Pro, which is great. It has, you know, my editing software on there wonderful but when i'm on the go when i'm like on a plane i don't want to have to lug this heavy thing around but i do want to be able mm. to do a few simple things send an email maybe make a paper edit maybe listen to some stuff on spotify okay. you know just like okay just a okay. few apps right. very handy nice and it and Fantastic. like i said not the newest you don't have to go new all the time sometimes you go a little bit old sometimes you find the hot deal yeah that's what you're suggesting. Find a hot deal iPad for find a hot uh, deal iPad with the magic folio keyboard because it has the trackpad. I didn't want one without Love the it. trackpad. Well, that's great. And actually, you know, the next thing that I have, I would also put in the travel category. Um, and that is this little device called the Airfly Pro. And I'll put it here. Hmm. The Airfly basically allows you on an airplane to plug into the headphone jack and here in your AirPods or Bluetooth headphones. There you go, because the airplane headphones are terrible. Airplane headphones are terrible. We're all walking around with better headphones than we've ever had. They have noise canceling built in, and it is really freeing and nice to be on a plane and like not have these wires going over the, all over the place, especially if you're like me, I like to sit in the aisle. And so then people are you know climbing over, you're getting up or whatever. Um, and this little guy is very, very simple, very easy, very to travel with. Um, and you can have up to two people on the same one. So you can watch something with someone else and, uh, you can also use it. They have versions of it where if you, if you have an audio input, you can go from your phone back to it and stuff. But I haven't done that, but I found it delightful for wow. travel. Game changer. Game changer. Run. Don't walk. Run. Don't walk guys for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This is in the fun and entertainment category. Uh, and it is a board game called Mind the Gap. And basically, uh, this summer, when I was in Maine, some family friends brought over this game. And it was kind of like pop culture trivial pursuit, but it's divided into four generations. 
So you get questions from boomers, millennials, Gen X, Gen Z, and it is so funny. Huh. It is so funny to watch a boomer struggle with a Gen Z question about slang and vice versa. Oh, wow. And remember like, what was the hit TV show for Gen X? Like, it's just, it's so, it's, it's for the whole family and it's more fun when it's everyone. When you have that mix of this generations. This is a, I mean, Sylvia, I gotta say, you're selling me here. Yeah. This is a delight. Woo! I gotta get this. I screamed into the mic. Uh, so I've, um, I've been talking too loud about it for a while. Just, I bring it everywhere I go. Okay, that's a lie. Do you really? I don't, but like, if I'm going on a family okay. vacation, if, if it's a family vacation, I am bringing this game. All right, I, I just ordered it. Wow, I got you on two? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me look at my list. So the next one is I, it's not in a specific category, but um, I'm going to suggest is a great gift this year is a Polaroid camera. Love it. Just love it. So um, for my 40th birthday, you know, I had this weekend of competitions, but one of the ones we ended up deciding to do is like, hey, what if we get some Polaroid cameras or a, a Polaroid camera, a bunch of film. And we just like set people loose on taking photos and we'll have, you know, who does the most interesting photo. And it was just a trick to document the. Was it Polaroid brand or was it Fujifilm? It was Polaroid brand. There's a Fujifilm one. And I have not used that myself much recently. And then if you go look it up, there's, um, there's a bunch of, there's two new Polaroid cameras. Both are good. And there's also a Polaroid, this is kind of a bonus. You can get a Polaroid printer. So you can print from your iPhone or Android onto a Polaroid film. And the reason I suggest this is like in the world we're in now, we're constantly taking photos, but I, you know, I think for most of us, it's pretty rare that we're actually printing these things out and putting them around. And there's something about having these like physical reminders to memories that has just been like t just delightful. So we took all these photos at my birthday and then we ended up making an album you know there's maybe we took 120 photos and now we have like 25 in the album and it's such a delight to see this because a lot of them are so awkward and stuff and like that's what people really look like we yeah. don't look like perfect in cookie cutter like and so it actually is like a, it's so nice to pick this thing up and look at it and then the funny thing that's happened is my kids will say you know on halloween when they're in their costumes we need to take polaroids and we want to take them to give them to our teachers so they walked in wearing their costume like it <laughs> to the teachers. So but there's something I've just found like really empowering, really delightful by having these. So I would just suggest like, you know, it's a little quirky. Seems funny, I think, for me to say this in a world of like extreme tech, AI, whatever. A lot of my stuff's the opposite. But this one is, it's worth it. It's fun to have this around. The film is not that expensive. So just like encourage you to look for something like this because I think it's, it just brings people together. It it allows you to have better, just better, more interesting memories like around your home, around your space. I'm smiling like an idiot because I recently purchased a Fujifilm Instax. You did? Yeah, I did. And bought some physical photo albums and I love it. I just, I love it. And it's like everything you just said, it's like, it's delightful. It feels like, you actually captured the moment of something like, because it is like not super manicured and yeah, I love it. So couldn't agree more. Awesome. I feel like now my last one is underwhelming because I've hit so many out of the park. I feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is for the lady listeners and or the people who want to buy a little something for the special women in their life. This is Glossier You perfume. And what I like is that this scent literally smells good on everyone. It's got some floral notes. There's a slight sweetness. How do you know that? Oh, I own it. Have you been spraying this on people? Oh, I, I own it and I smell people. I own it and I smell people. <laughs> You can get the rollerball, which makes a great stocking stuffer, right? Like on the go, little rollerball, tee tee. Or you can get like the eau de perfume, which is the spray and like is a little fancier. Yeah, I I love it. It's classic. It's classy. 
you smell fresh, you're ready to go. That's lovely. Yeah. So it's like something you truly recommend. I truly recommend it. Truly. Truly. And you've been spraying it on people and that's how you know it smells so good on everyone. Just testing. Just testing. <laughs> I'm like, let's see how this smells on you. Because we're different. <laughs> do you really do that? Do you really do that? What do you think? I can see you doing that. I can see you having people come over like, hold on. Look, I know this is funny, but um, I really think this smells incredible on everyone. Can I just put this on you really quick yeah. and see what happens? Okay. I haven't done it yet, but rest assured <laughs> I will. You're going to. Rest assured I will. Okay. <laughs> I'm big into smell tests. I like testing. Yeah. That was, Love that. That was my last. You're going to close us out. As you can tell, I, I kind of went a different direction this year. I was like, all right, what's these like really practical, <laughs> yes. affordable, affordable gifts that everybody can get? And I and I had a I had a fifth one, which was I bought this cold plunge thing, which is like not <laughs> heated or cooled. It's basically just like a bag that you put water in and it's cold out. And um, I got this for myself for my birthday when we were all the competitions. And it was very fun. And I've been doing it a few times a week, but the other day I did it and it was like, it was 34 degrees out. And you know, I got out there, there's like an inch of ice and I smashed the ice and I get into it. I'm like, I'm such a badass, Just like all those videos, like I'm feeling so good. And I'm trying to do it for three minutes and the water temp is 38 degrees. And um, normally I do three minutes, no problem. Water's like 50 degrees, something like that. This is a lot colder. Yeah. So first minute is kind of fine. Second minute it's hard. And I have a timer going, I'm like, Hey Siri, how much time is left? Hey Siri, how much? And I start doing that. And it's just like, you have one minute, 10 seconds. You have 50 seconds. You have 40. And then I started to feel my hands, like <laughs> the, the, the blood coming out of my hands. And I was like, this is bad. This is scaring the absolute shit out of me. And so <clears throat> I get like to like 15 seconds left. And I get out of there. I can't, like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and then I just felt, I was so cold. I was shivering. I couldn't even talk. I'm sorry. And... I'm laughing. Okay. That's. Yes, that's fine. You're basically and then I hypo. go and I like to. Thermic. Yes. And the craziest part about this is I try to warm myself up. I take a shower and maybe 20, 10 minutes. I'm going to say 15 minutes later, I'm like, feel, think I'm warm. And then the blood goes through my arms and it's cold and I, you can feel it. And I'm just like, I have made a mistake here. <laughs> um, I'm fine. Uh, but it's just a warning. <laughs> this is a warning to all you out there. These things look cool. Yeah. And there are a lot of health benefits. But just, you know, sometimes don't go so hard. So instead of recommending that, I'm going to recommend the LG OLED 77-inch TV. I have one of these. It's fantastic. Uh, There's just the bougie. Beautiful. There's the bougie we were yeah. missing. And, um, you know, it's it's going to cost you about 2500 bucks today. Um, and I just two years ago, it was four grand. So this thing's dropping like a stone. Fantastic TV. <laughs> That's what you should get. <laughs> wow. I, I learned so much, uh, about you and I'm very excited to gift these things, to buy some of the things for myself. I, this was fantastic. This is great. I mean, you know, basically everything you've recommended, I'm just over here. Bye, 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 yeah. bye, bye. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, I think that's it. That's the that's whole, it. we did it. That was so fast. It was so fast. We were passionate. Yeah. It's because we were passionate. And I just want to point out, we're not using any referral codes in any of these links. These are all <laughs> true, authentic recommendations of products. They're warnings. Uh, <laughs> Don't plunge too deep, my friends. Don't plunge too deep. You know, be reasonable. Take time. Listen to your body. I think that's really <laughs> important. And, um, you know, I'm going to put this out into the world. I think... If there's other gifts that you think mm. are really great and you think we should know about, tell us. Um, hit us up on LinkedIn. I'd love to get your recommendations from the TTL crew. Um, send us an email at ttlpod at wistia.com with recommendations. Also with guests, we've got so many. We've had so... I, Sylvia, I don't think I can wrap up this up without talking about the guests this year. Phenomenal the guests we've guests. had this year have been out of control. Out of control. Out of control. So many incredible guests, so many incredible insights. I was looking at the, the roster. It's ridiculous. It's epic. It's epic. And so to that point, we're coming out with a very special newsletter on LinkedIn yeah. um, with uh, a lot of the top moments for the year. So 
Go to my page on LinkedIn and subscribe if you have not to make sure you don't miss out on that. We have a ton of exciting guests in the pipeline coming up for 2024. And with that, wish you happy holidays. Treat yourself. Buy something great for yourself. Buy something great for the people around you. Keep. We got to keep this economy moving. <laughs> happy holidays, everybody. We're going to be taking a little break, but we'll be back on January 9th, 2024. Count See down. See you soon, Canada. 10. Oh, are you counting down? Ball drop? <laughs> no, forget it. No? <laughs>